All right, hello. So in this video, we'll just be exploring the webhook integration here in WordPress. So webhooks allows you to send data from external sources to your WordPress bot in real time. This enables really powerful integrations with other services. So of course you want to start out by making sure that you have a WordPress cloud account and a bot created. So I'll just create a new chatbot right here and I'll call this one webhook tutorial. So webhook and then tutorial. And what you want to do now is add the integration. So I'll just right here, search for webhook and I'll select this. You want to make sure that this is installed on the bot that you want to use. So you can click on that, then select. For me, this is in the workflow called, um, workspace called templates. This can be any of um, your workspaces. And then this is the bot I want to install it on. So we'll just add that. Then we'll hit go to bots. So right here, you want to make sure that you have enabled the integration and you can add a secret password. This is optional, but I would really recommend you to do this to secure your webhook especially in like production. So it can really be any string you want to, um, just make sure it's random and it's going to be really hard to guess. So you can send data to your webhook here on WordPress from any environment that supports HTTP requests. This can be a Node.js app, a React app, or even just some simple JavaScript script. Um, in this example, we'll be using the Axios library to make a post request to the webhook URL. So yeah, we can test our webhook by using an HTTP client like Postman or Insomnia. I am just going to be using Insomnia. So we'll create a post request like this and we'll be using the webhook URL that we have from our integration just like this and we can add it right here and in our body we want to add some JSON um, this is going to be our JSON payload and we can really just copy it I have uh, set up a test just before this so I can just copy it quickly from here and in our headers I can just delete this so yeah and this is also where you would add your um, password, which you would call um, XBP secret, I think. Yeah, and then just whatever you set the password to be. But I'm not going to be using that uh, as of now. Okay, so in the request body that we have right here, this is where you want to have your JSON, uh, custom JSON payload. So we can just test this and we can hit send and I should see 200, okay, that is perfect. Now in our bot in WordPress, we can hit edit right here. We want to have a little uh, flow set up to basically just handle uh, every time we send something to our webhook. So because right now nothing really um, happens. So I will right click, hit trigger and then I will select the webhook trigger right here. And I can test this, uh, so I can hit discover events and we just sent one, so you should be able to see it right here in these discover events. So I'll just hit save. Now, this is where you really have to decide on what you want to happen with the data that you decide to send. So for me, I'm going to be uploading this to a table you should really use the tables API if you want to add something to your table, but this is just to show you how it really works um, and how you can use and keep the data. So I will be creating a new node, so let it go over to here, and I'll be using the insert record card. Before we go any do anything else, we should add a table. This table I'll just call emails table and I'll create three columns. So the first one I'll call sender. The next one I'll call content and I'll call the last one category. And this is because it's what I really have here. So sender, I have content and I have one called category. So yeah, 
Now we can go to our insert record card. We can select a table. For me, it's emails table. And in it, we have these three uh, options right here, which is what we have. The, it's just the columns that we have in our table. Now, to add this, uh, you want to access the received data. Now we'll be using, doing this by using event.payload. And the event.payload.body contains the JSON payload from the request. And event, let me just see, query um, contains the URL parameters. Event.method contains the HTTP method. And dot path contains the request path. Now we'll be using dot body and we'll be using dot payload.body.email.sender and for our content we will have content and for our category we will have cate whoops, category and again this depends on your JSON payload so whatever we have right here so email and then email dot and then sender and then email dot content to get the content and then we can just use body.category to get the category. So yeah, we can quickly just test this by clicking on our um, trigger right here, which is our webhook event, select event to trigger. And then we have this that we saved earlier and then say trigger this event. This should update our table as you can see right here, but we can also hit publish and test this from Insomnia. So let's just see. Once it publish has been published, we can test it. All right, perfect. So I can hit send, but before that, I'll just want to change it up a bit. So I can say dk instead at email, and then I'll just say random email content instead, and we can change it from meeting to. Um, let's just say request like this. I can hit send and this should also update our table. So dk at email and then random email content. Yeah. And then request. So this is a really simple tutorial on how you can use it. You have a lot of, a lot more options really and you can do a lot of advanced stuff with this this is really just to get you started so you know the basics of how it works here in buttpress so yeah and remember you can use the tables api so instead of having a webhook and then the insert record you can simply just use buttpress's dedicated tables api uh, it's specifically designed for managing tables, uh, data, and provides a much more efficient and straightforward approach to this if you want to add it to a table. So yeah, if you have any questions or need any help with this, just let me know and I'll be ready to help you.